On April 10, 1865, Robert E. Lee wrote a letter to his soldiers saying that the war had ended in a victory for the Union, where the reuniting of the U.S. was about to start. Confederate armies had done as much as they could, but were outnumbered by the Union's numbers. The reason for the Union victory included political, economic, military, social, and diplomatic stances. and also included when Ulysses Grant, who was the commander of all Union forces, devised a plan that gave Lee no chance but to surrender. The only strategic experience most people had prior to this war was from the Mexican-American War, and the North had some previous small successes before the Civil War. The next option was the Anaconda Plan, made by General Winfield Scott. The idea was to destroy the South by shutting off its supplies and using a blockade. After that, Scott suggested that they take an army down to the Mississippi and split the Confederacy into two parts. Lincoln had rejected that plan, but knew that the North wanted to see aggressive military actions against the South in Richmond, Virginia. They decided to blockade the southern ports and invaded the South. McCallum came to help with the army and moved into Richmond. McCallum was he hesitant, so he was replaced with Henry Halleck. The Union gained control of the Mississippi River, so the Confederacy was split. In 1863, Union force, who was led by Ulysses S. Grant, had taken control of the Chattanooga, Tennessee Territory, which was the gateway to the interior of the Confederate Territory. Soon after, Halleck was replaced with Grant. Grant took over the Union strategy and wanted troops to move from Tennessee down through Atlanta, Georgia to Savannah on the sea, then go upward through the Carolinas to meet Union forces in Virginia. Their main strategy was to be aggressive. The Southern strategy was more defensive rather than offensive. Going into the war, Confederates had thought that the Europeans' dependence on cotton would help them win. This strategy was referred to as the King Cotton Strategy. England and France would get involved to keep the cotton supply up and keep their military strength. This was hard for them to pull off because the Europeans weren't just going to jump into the war. They named this strategy the Offensive-Defensive Strategy. The idea was that the South was going to build up its forces in key defensive positions to block Union attacks, but if they were attacked, they would fight back aggressively. Some argued this was the wrong thing to do and wanted to take the fight to the North, but they did not get anyone in favor to do so. The Confederacy leaders did not want to commit forces to attack the North because they didn't want to weaken their defensive points. Since leaders didn't want to give up defensive troops, the Confederacy stayed with the offensive-defensive strategies, even without European help. Overall, the main strategies used in the Civil War were being aggressive no matter what, using the blockade, and the offensive-defensive strategy.